If there is to be a broadening of perspective and the complete end to the use of conspiracy theorists as a counterfeit attack on those who are daring to question anything outside of the preordained official authority, then this short phrase needs to be integrated into the very fibers of one's inner intelligence. The opportunity of this moment is being thrown away and degenerated through the overuse of this manipulative psychological technique and tool. To call anyone stupid, slow, insane, screwed in the head, or a conspiracy theorist are all examples of ad hominem attacks. To laugh at anyone for any reason whatsoever during any serious inquiry into any information is an ad hominem attack. Mockery and insults prove nothing. This is a methodology of mental offense that is used again and again because it caters to the bias and prejudices of the minds to which it is directed at, while simultaneously creating an onslaught of humiliation for those that this attack is directed against. How many in the truth movement even, or those who declare themselves to be awake and aware, get caught up in the emotional swings of this style of argumentation? all of it leading to a dead end. Remember, just as the internet has increased the availability and access to information, so too did the printing press do the same starting around 1440. People question the church more, they question the government more, greater scientific discoveries abounded, and people could begin to discern a lot more of what this reality was about for themselves. And yet, here we are, not truly any better off, and not one inch closer to being free. What happened? Ad hominem happened, which is the entire basis of organized religion and politics. Everyone got fired up defending their own mental territories, while divide and conquer again ruled the day. The same will happen once more if this roughshod tactic of mental abuse continues the way it is going while also continuing to escalate because <laughs> is not meditative insight. It is not philosophical inquiry. It is not scientific advancement. It is not a proof of anything. It is not a fact or a validation. It is not an increase in objective or subjective mental awareness. It is simply <laughs> insults, bias, attacking a person or their character or perhaps even others around them as opposed to unveiling the truth does nothing for anyone. The use of ad hominem needs to be recognized for what it is when anyone uses it, most especially one's awakened and aware self.